tunaongelea umuhimu wa biashara kwenye matangazo tunataka kuongelea watu wanao comment matangazo kwenye kwenye posti za watu lakini pia matangazo ni muhimu sana kwenye biashara ah sasa tuanze vitu gani vya kuzingatia kwanza kabisa unapofungua biashara yako okay cha kwanza kabisa it depends na cha kwanza kabisa unapaswa kuifanya biashara yako legal like usajili na vitu kama vile maana wote tunafahamu kwamba taratibu zilizowekwa na nchi yetu ni lazima zifatwe hilo yeah. ni swala la msingi sana la kuzingatia lakini pili tukija kwenye biashara husika direct to the business um, kwanza kabisa katika kuchagua jina la biashara yako au unataka iweje au service ambayo wewe utaenda kuwa una provide unataka una takiwa uzingatie kwamba jina ambalo unachagua liendane na ile biashara. Okay. Wote ni witnesses sometimes kuna biashara unaweza ukakutana nao hata kwenye mitandao wewe bado ndio watu wengi wasikilizwa wamechagua kuwa ndo formula wao kujitangaza. Unakutana na jina haliendani na biashara husika. Hiyo ni makosa ambayo watu wengi wana, wanafanya. Kwa mfano yani. Kwa mfano um, actually si, si pasi kutaja mm. like brand ya mtu nitakuwa ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. yani una assume tu ambayo haipo katika biashara za watu okay mimi kitu ambacho sipendezi nacho kweli to which it's right huenda lakini mimi huaga si shauri hata wateja wangu akija for consultation huaga mm. nawaambia um i'm not a fan of mtu kutumia jina lake okay. katika biashara okay salome habo clinic dunia ina maneno mengi mazuri ya maana ambayo yatamvuta mtu rather than your name let's believe in that kwa sababu embu let's take an example ukaita labda badala ya salomo ukasema upendo habo clinic it clicks tweets sikatai ni sawa lakini mimi ninachotamani by the way naongea with experience nishawahi kufanya biashara na ninafanya biashara zangu mbalimbali Um, my percep- yani mategemeo yangu katika biashara sio jina tu. Mategemeo yangu na matarajio yangu ni kukuza mauzo. Sawa. Wewe leo utakapoita Salome Salome Habu Clinic, kuna watu hawanipendi. Ndio tunarudi kula kule. Kwa nitajenga nita, watu yani nitakuwa nataka niwavute watu kununua kwa ajili yangu mimi while nilipaswa nihakikishe ubora wa bidhaa yangu ndio iwavute watu is, is it making sense yes so, and watu wengi wanakosea wana base kwenye watu wanipende mimi ndio wapende biashara yangu kumbe it's different tukiangalia hata matajiri wengi wa, hata baada ya wao kufariki biashara zinaendelea ni because they were not selfish to give their selves the first priority rather than the business kuna watu wengine kwa mfano <coughs> salome sasa hapo <coughs> unachosema kwa mfano yeah. mtu tayari ameshakuwa na jina labda kwa kitu kingine mm. nani anataka kuanza biashara yeah. yeah. mm. yeah. anaona kwamba akitumia jina lake yeah. ndio itafanya biashara iwe kubwa zaidi ivutie watu zaidi rather than mimi namjua mm. mtu labda maarufu let's say Omi dimpos. Yeah, yeah. Sawa. Mm, Tayari yeah. nishaokuwa vile nimekuwa vile naye kwa ajili ya mziki. Akisema atumie jina lingine, yani akitumia dimpos something. Mm-hmm. Okay, najua hii ni Omi yeah, dimpos kwa sababu tayari ana following. Hiyo hiyo unasemaje kwa mtu ambaye tayari ameshakuwa maarufu afa anataka kuanza biashara. Yaani kwa mtu ambaye <coughs> tayari ana jina, mm. tayari mpaka hapo unapaswa kujua kwamba yule mtu alitumia nguvu kukuza jina lake, si ndio? Mm-hmm. Kwa kule tayari alishaipa alishaipa nguvu it's right for the person hapa namzungulizia mtu ambaye anaanza oh, hana yeah. chochote so. yani hana ndo anaanza na idea yani kimtani mtani kama exactly. kujulikana anajulikana mtani kwao mm-hmm. alafu akajiba akajipa jina na duka jina lake mm-hmm. akalipa duka leo hiyo kaenda kule kwa shafi sio nini nini umeona eh yeah. yeah. okay kitu kingine cha msingi cha pili kuzingatia ni ku find uniqueness sijui kwa Kiswahili tutaiwekaje lakini yes tafuta utofauti katika jina na katika ku create your brand mm. nikisemea ku create your brand na pia na maanisha na zile symbols kuna logo zile mm. na kuna yale maneno fulani yale yanaitwaje yale ya chini pale mfano slogan slogan yes slogan is important kauli mbiu um, samahani lakini kuna 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 
Mfano watu wa furnitures. Siku hizi nimeangalia wili watatu with research. Unakuta watu anakuambia baada ya maandishi unasikia you get what you see. What you get what you see in a picture. Like tayari uje find uniqueness. Nikipitia mm. page nyingine tatu nakuta hicho hicho. Ndio. Kwa uki, ukijaribu kutafuta un, ku, kutengeneza something unique at least itaku, ita create attention kwa watu kuvutiwa zaidi rather than kitu kile kile nakikuta inakuwa something very common.